10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. Lift off. Cargo Dragon soars with the final supply run in 2021 for the astronauts aboard the International Space Station. Stage one chamber pressure is nominal. T plus forty seconds into flight, uh, Falcon Nine and Dragon. Power telemetry nominal. You can see him passing through the cloud layers right now. Next stop, uh, in just a few seconds here, is Max Q. This is where the vehicle will experience the highest amount of aerodynamic pressures. Falcon Nine and supersonic. of high pressure on the vehicle. The engines on the first stage are now throttling back up as we continue to make our journey to orbit. Coming up in about a minute are three events in rapid succession. Uh, first up is main engine cutoff, also known as MIGO. Back engine chill has started. Stage separation. And then second engine start, also known as SES-1. Main engine cutoff is where all nine engines on the first stage will shut off in preparation for the second event, stage separation. Uh, during stage separation, the first and second stages will yes, separate from one another. The first stage entry. makes its way back to the drone ship for a landing attempt, and the second stage will ignite its Merlin vacuum engine and continue to boost Dragon to low Earth orbit. Again, those are going to be happening in rapid succession in about 15 seconds here. Miko, state separation confirmed. In ignition. You heard the call-outs, we see it on screen. Successful main engine cutoff, followed by successful stage separation, and then ignition of our Merlin vacuum engine. On the left-hand side of the screen, the first stage, again, it's making its way back to Earth, but it's still being illuminated by the second stage Merlin vacuum engine there. So if you are just joining us, you're watching a live webcast for the 24th commercial resupply mission to the International Space Station for NASA. This is SpaceX's 31st mission for 2021 and the fifth Dragon flight to the International Space Station this year. A couple of views on the screen. The right-hand side of the screen is a view of the Merlin vacuum engine uh, on the second stage, the Dragon capsule uh, uh, carrying all of the wonderful uh, holiday treats and science is on the opposite end of that engine. Again, that is continuing to run smoothly as it makes its way to orbit. On the left-hand side of the screen is the first stage. You'll notice some uh, honeycomb-like structures. There's two of them on screen right now. Those are our um, uh, hypersonic grid fins. They're positioned at the top of the first stage booster. There are four of them, actually, uh, and those will start to um, uh, swivel and move around to make sure that they are guiding the first stage back uh, to its targeted landing zone. Uh, for, for today's mission, it's going to be the drone ship Just Read the Instruction, which is parked in the Atlantic Ocean. Stage one entry burners and startup. And there it is. Three Merlin, act, uh, Merlin engines have reignited their uh, engines and are now currently slowing down the first stage. This burn is expected to last about 30 seconds. 
stage two FTS is we safe. We don't have views of the first stage right now. We looks like we got it back, and the landing burn uh, stage one is currently underway. Deployed. Invex shut down. Stage one landing is confirmed. So uh, hopefully we get some visuals. Uh, there it is. So this is the no, first no, landing for this particular booster, but the 100th successful landing for an orbital class rocket. Uh, what a way to end off the year. And there it goes. Uh, again, this camera view is on the second stage, looking at the Dragon's unpressurized cargo section. The Dragon has about uh, a day before it makes its way and uh, to the International Space Station and docks. Uh, coming up is nose cone opening sequence. But that is going to do it for me here in Hawthorne. I'm going to hand it over to Shaniqua in Houston for the next mission milestones.